Hey y'all, I'm Luke Bryan and the CMA Awards Country Music's Biggest Night is almost here and we've got something very special for you. Tonight, we're going to spend one week together, you and me, and some of my friends. Let's talk about that most accurate forecast here as we kick off the day. Now we'll start off comfortable and then we're heading back into the triple digits this afternoon. Hello. It's about 3.30. We're in Phoenix, but it is so hot that I can barely breathe. So we'll see how long this makeup and hair stays. And we're going to sound check. I'm on tour with Lady A on the What A Song Media Tour. And we're having so much fun. So come to sound check with me. If you would have told me a year ago that this was going to be the year for me of all of these things happening at once, I would have never believed it. It's definitely a bright spot in a tough year. She filed for divorce from fellow country singer Michael Gray. This is John. He plays all the instruments. Oh. There we go. I gave you my heart, you let it go to waste. I think when you go through hard things and you go through transitions, you grow from it. And for me, I went through personal changes and musical changes that ultimately I had a decision to either crawl in a hole and not come out or fly. Why'd you go and do what you can't take back? Yeah, you should have known better. I just dove straight into the music harder than I ever had, and I just dove into my heart and into myself as a person and latched on to what I wanted to say and the kind of music that I wanted to make. Hopefully I can sing in the heat. We'll find out. Now what? Now I go back to the bus and sit until VIP and try to not sweat, so you guys will see me at VIP in a little bit. The energy continues to kind of ramp up as the day goes on. You know, it's really busy in the morning because everyone is getting the stage together. Something that's really unique about my schedule is my time in the makeup chair because my whole day kind of revolves around the first time I sit here and then what am I going to wear? Um, what do we want the look to be? I get to check in my family. A lot of times I'll pop my phone up on this ring light and like they'll be FaceTiming me while I'm getting ready and getting to see my little girls running around the house and it brings a little home to me and it's really sweet to have those moments. So this is our um, traveling recording rig. We write a bunch on the road, record vocals, do stuff out on the road. And uh, every day I try to just work on an idea, kind of get something going. Show them a little bit of the Nico. Oh, the Nico song? Sure. Uh, here's a little chorus of one we wrote. We wrote this with Nico Moon and his wife Anna. Um, little preview. You just got a sneak peek. Sneak peek. No one's heard it yet. I'm about to do a netty quad. I, I, I will say I'm not a trained singer, so like I get all my tone from like my sinuses, and when everything gets really dried out. It's really tough, like, yeah, I like to do this. This is, I got like really bad allergies. This, this is kind of gross. I don't know if you really want to see this. You really need a document. This is really gold. This is gold here. Put it in one nose. Oh, let it drain it out. It's really gross. My warm up is kind of, it's slightly evolved over the years, but I always knew if I could sing Run to You, like, it starts off like falsetto, so full voice to falsetto. I always knew if I could do that, then my voice was opened up. But I go, I run to the truth. It's a quarter after one and I need, oh, oh, And then if I can hit all that, I'm good. We'll see. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, here in Milwaukee, uh, playing Summerfest today. But before we do that, we are, we got a dance rehearsal. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> we got locked out, but Emma broke in, so <laughs> we're all good now. But I'll give y'all an update in a little bit. What our weeks look like is driving around. It's the dream job is to just travel around and play music all over the place. I drive my own bus because uh, it's cheaper. And at the point we're at right now, it's how you make money on the road. I get to play the Grand Ole Opry tomorrow night for the very first time. So a little nerve wracking, but 
That's what's going down. Everybody's got a fresh diaper. I know. Paw paw. <laughs> So we are about to go to VIP. This is one of my favorite parts of the day because it's my fans that have come early and spent money to come and hang out with me before the show starts. Since my album's coming out, um, all of you guys are gonna get hit passes tonight as my gift to you. Hi. Hi. I like your shirt. <laughs> I like these. They're the dogs. They say Pierce Pups. My dog's got shirts, Johnny and June. Oh my God. They are going on them as soon as I get home. Oh my God. <laughs> so this is Olivia. And Olivia is what I call like one of my um, OGs, like OG fans. And she's always been so awesome. And I actually have a gift for you. So I had these necklaces made for just people that have touched me over the years and been so supportive of my music along the way and always been there. And so this is my handwriting that says, give yourself some grace. So I want to give that to you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Your music lately has really helped me a lot. There's someone in my life that like constantly turns me out. <laughs> a lot of it, I relate to in that way. Mm. Well, it, it's way. really an escape. Thank you for telling me that. And I hope that when you have that necklace, you remember that you're so worthy in the way that I tell everybody that's going through relationship stuff. So thank you for sharing. Good to see you, Olivia. You Being away from fans during the pandemic and going through so many things publicly and writing this album, I never knew that I could have fan experiences that were that rich and that fulfilling. And what they don't know is when they're honest and they share their hearts with me, they're telling me that I'm making them feel okay, but they don't realize that they're actually making me feel like I'm gonna be okay too. And so it's been um, just really special to put out music that I thought was so painful, but now seeing it for purpose. So that's what it's all about. What's up? Jimmy Allen here. So we're in Milwaukee playing Summerfest. Uh, I think we're like five minutes out from showtime. I don't know why I looked at my watch because it don't work, but that's a whole nother story. Every stage for me is another opportunity to do what I love. There's something special that happens on stage between me and my band, and then between my band and the audience. It's, de it's definitely special. So we're backstage. Uh, I can hear the crowd out there now. The openers are playing. Everyone's starting to get hyped up. Uh, playing some ping pong. Got some music playing. Nice. Okay, so it's almost showtime. We play at 8.05 and it's like 7.45. So I'm gonna go in and meet my band, get my monitor pack, and get ready. Here we go. When the drums kick in, that's when I know. I can't even put into words to you how much I have missed the stage and missed faces and missed hearing crowds react to music. You never think that you're gonna not have that and you never think the stage is going to be taken away from you, and I will never take it for granted. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.